In the last video, we understood what is a ransomware and how it works. And we coded a simple ransomware in Python along with a command and control server. Then we used this ransomware to encrypt a directory cursively. So in this video, I will walk you through the decryptor that we will use to recover all the encrypted files. The imports for the decryptor here are pretty much similar to the ransomware script. We will start by instantiating the decryptor class, and then we call the dirt to decrypt method, and we pass to it the encrypted directory. The dirt to decrypt method will start by calling the get keys method. The get keys method extracts the victim MAC address and base64 encoded, then URL encoded, then it sends it to the command and control server on the get keys endpoint as a get parameter to retrieve the encryption keys that were used to encrypt the, this machine's files. Basically, the MAC address here works as an identifier with which we can give the same encryption keys that were used in the encryption process. In the save keys input in the command and control server, we extract the MAC address parameter and URL decoded. Then we query the database to get the encryption keys that were used to encrypt the machine that this MAC address corresponds to. Then we send them back to the decryptor. After that, we extract the encryption key, the XOR key, and the initialization vector from the response. Then we base64 decode them. After that, the execution flow will be passed to the dirt to decrypt method to recursively get each file inside the encrypted directory and pass it to the decrypt method. This loop here does the same thing as the tree command in Linux. In the decrypt method, we will do the same steps we did in the encrypt method in the ransomware class, only in reverse. We open the encrypted file in read byte mode, then we create a new AES instance and pass to it the encryption key and the initialization vector, or the IV. Then we decrypt all the data and remove all the padding that were added in the encryption process. Then we XOR each 16 byte of the decrypted data with the XOR key, just like we did in the encryption process and store all XOR bytes in the plain text variable. Then we open the same file in write byte mode and we hex and decode the XOR data because remember, we hex encoded them when we were encrypting in the beginning. Then finally, we override the cipher text with the plain text. When we run the decryptor, we will see a get request to the get keys endpoint with the MAC address as a get parameter. When the decryption is complete, the files inside the decrypted directory should be back to normal. Just run the file command for a sanity check. I hope you enjoyed those couple of videos, my friends. If you want to see similar videos, just comment down below and tell me. And uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn that notification bell to make sure you don't miss anything that comes out. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.